In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool opening slide in PowerPoint in a few minutes. In this tutorial, I've split up into two parts. First, making the slide and then animating the slide. For the animation part, we're splitting it up into a newer version of PowerPoint and an older version. So everyone can use this animation. And we're starting from a blank slide. First thing we want to do is add the background image. So we go to the Insert tab and here click on Icons. If you work on a Windows, that will be Insert Image. Go to the Images tab. And here you can type in whatever you're looking for. So we're going for nature mountains. This will give you a whole list of options to work with. We're looking for a specific one with multiple layers, something where you can clearly see the line between the mountain and the sky and preferably two layers in this case. I think this one of the rice fields will look quite nice. So I'm going to select it and insert to the slide. I'm using this designer tab to fill it to full screen. If you don't have this tab, you can always activate it in the design tab and then here click on or off the designer tab, which is pretty convenient. Let's close the tab for now, select the image and let's duplicate the slide. So right click duplicate or use the shortcut control D. On the second one, we're going to select the image, go to picture format and remove background. And everything in purple will be removed. And if you want to keep, you select mark areas to keep and then in green, you mark everything that you want to keep. So in this case, we're keeping both mountains. So we want this clean line at the background of the mountain. We want to keep that little tree and then try to get as much in as possible. Sometimes it takes a few times for you to adjust the selection. And once the outline is somewhat clear, you can click on keep changes and this will cut out the mountain. It is not a perfect cut, but this will be good enough for our design. Next, we're going to duplicate this page again. So the cutout page, select the image and then picture format and do the same thing, remove background. But now we're going to keep only the foreground. So only the first mountain. So mark areas to remove. And then in red, you want to mark that second background mountain. Fine tune with a few extra clicks. And then you also want to make sure that this little house is on there. So mark it in green. And that makes a nice selection. This one will look good enough for what we need. So we keep changes. That gives us a slide with the full picture, the background or boat mountains. And the third one is only the foreground mountain. Now we're going to the original image and add some text. So add a text box. And here we type in whatever title you want. So let's type in explore. We change the font to something we like. I'm going to use Montserrat and I'm using the sub font extra bold. Make it white and increase the font size. Let's try 100. I think that already looks quite good. Maybe a bit smaller so that it will nicely appear from behind that second mountain. We're going to hold control shift and create a copy of that text box. And here we type in a nature. This one can be a bit larger. So I'm going to increase the font size to about 115 so that we have a slight overlap with the front mountain. Select both text boxes. Let's edit them just a little bit. So format object, go to text options, shadow, and let's choose one of the preset shadows, but increase the blur. So that's a very subtle shadow that you add to the letters, but it gives that extra readability on the slide. Now we want to select the shapes that we've cut out. So we control C or control X and control V to paste it on the slide. And then you paste it on top. So everything looks nice. We're going to do the same for the foreground mountain and paste that on top. So now we see the letters are not in the right order. So we're going to change that. We go to arrange and selection pane. And here we want to rearrange the text boxes so they, that they fit in nicely between the slides. This text box has to go behind the second mountain. So that's correct. The other text box, we have to drag it somewhere in between the foreground mountain, this one, and the background mountain. So that's pretty good. You can always give them different names. So you can say background mountain. This one you can call double click foreground mountain. And then this one is the background image. So that way you know easily what layer is what. Same for the text. You can also give those names. So nature and explore. This way you have an easy overview of the background image. Then you have the explore letter. Then you have the background mountain, so the layer in between, the word nature, and then the foreground mountain. If you're working on a Mac, there's also this really nice feature where you have the 
reorder objects pane. So if you click that, it will sort of give you all the layers in a nice visual way. So here we can easily drag them and change the order. So we have the image, we have the explore button or the text, we have the boat mountains, nature, and then the first mountain. So now we're going to look at animating the slides. And for that, there's two ways. So the first one is with the morph transition. The second one is with the fly in transition. Let's duplicate our slide. And on the first one, let's duplicate it once more for the morph transition. Select both text boxes and drag them all the way to the right. So we can hold control and scroll backwards or forwards to zoom in or out, or you can use this toggle switch at the bottom. So I'm zooming out, selecting the text box and dragging it all the way to the right. Here I'm going to position the nature just a bit further. If you hold the shift key, it will move in a straight horizontal line. So that's pretty convenient. And now we go to the second slide, transitions and morph. And this will have the letters flying nicely. You can always adjust the timing. And then let's preview this one. So we have the opening slide, a clean slide. And as soon as you click, the letters will fly into this slide, which is a pretty cool effect. Now let's try it without the morph transitions for the older versions of PowerPoint. And that is on this slide. So what we do is we select both text boxes, go to animations, and we choose a fly in animation. Then we go to effect options on the with little arrow and we choose from right. Open the animation pane and now let's change some settings. For the duration, I want two seconds. I want a smooth start, smooth end. The nature should have a little delay, so I'm going to add 0.3, let's say, and it can fly in on the start. That is good. So let's preview this one. And here again, we have the opening slide. And as soon as you click, both of the elements will fly into the slide pretty nicely. And this is how you can create this cool opening slide in PowerPoint in just a few minutes with the morph and fly in animation.